and welcome back to Coco for Disney. I'm so excited that you're here. Um, today we have another exciting Malik Adventures collab and they are going down the alphabet of Disney movies and today is H. So can you guess what that stands for? I've got him on. <laughs> it's Hercules or Huncules, should I say. Um, uh, amazing movie. Um, so the Malik Adventures are having this collab and you're going to want to check out all the participating channels. There are some Hercules collectors in this collab. One of them being Meglet is a geek. You're going to want to check out her channel because that lady knows all about Greek mythology and she incorporates Hercules so well into it. It's a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot more interesting um, collections out there that you're going to want to see and experience. So make sure that you're checking out all the participating channels listed below in the description. Okay. Um, it'll be fun. So should we get started with my song collection? Um, what should we start with? <laughs> um, let's start with the Funkos. How's that sound? I just have two of them, but they're, they're two of the most important ones. So the first one I have, I love her to death. And it is Megara. Is it Megara, Megara, Megara? I think it's Megara. My daughter will yell it out from the other room in a minute. <laughs> but look at her, isn't she darling? Look at that purple eyeshadow. She's got that little moxie in her. Her hair comes down the side with that ponytail. She's just a cutie, isn't she? I love Megara, Megara, Megara. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta pronounce it correct. <laughs> and then of course we have the man, Hercules. Now, there are many other pops out there that are adorable. The one um, that I would really like to have eventually is the Pegasus and then also Phil, so his little coach. So there's so many out there that would be so cute. There is a Hades and a Pain and Panic too, but these are the two I have right now. Let's get into the Jim Shores. I only have two, but there is a new one. Since I last showed my last collection, I do have one new one. I'm gonna show that one last. So let's get to the first one that I showed last time. And this one is so darling cute. <laughs> it, it, it portrays Hercules and um, Pegasus as babies. Look, even then he has the little muscles. Pegasus is so cute too in this. And look below, you have the clouds with the lightning bolt on the bottom, but they are so cute together. That color of Pegasus, look at the little cheeks and the ears are pink. All these little details in his little wings are just darling. Oh, look at him. Look at the little tail on Pegasus. <laughs> and again, you have that artwork that can, comes over this corner to that side. And this one is called Friends Take Flight. Just an adorable Jim Shore of Hercules. All right. So there is a, um, a Jim Shore that would probably be one of my grails. I have so many grails when it comes to Jim Shore, but one of them would be there's a Hercules statue and it's of him and it's so detailed. I compared the Maui and the Hercules in that same type of figurine and Hercules is so amazing. If you, you can see him on eBay, he's priced pretty pretty high up there, but he's so beautiful, the colors and everything of him. But I did get one more. And this is um, Jim Shore's series of good and evil. And it is not Hercules and Hades, but it's his match in sassiness. <laughs> it is Hades and Megara. Meg, Meg, Meg. I'll get it there. And then down below you have again that, um, the etchings around the bottom. Look at the flooring of that floor. But she is just standing so perfect. I'm gonna show her first. She's got her hip tilted with that beautiful tunic gown on. And again, you have that Jim Shore signature. She's got her little feet sticking out from her sandals. Look at her little hands. The hands are something I always love that Jim Shore does. 
and then look at that face. That is a beautiful face of her, just gorgeous. And then her little sassy side flip goes into that high ponytail. Look at her delicate arms. And you're gonna see around the bottom, there's her other foot. And then we go to the back of Hades where his little smoke flames are curling up all around him in the back. Look at his hair and her hair. Just so beautiful, beautifully done of Hades. The face is so Hades. Look at that. Look at the, his hands, how he has those posed. Many times in that movie, in the animated movie, he has his hands posed like that. And then of course, look at the purple then that Jim Shore insets against that gray and that blue and the turquoise. And again, their faces are so amazing. Hades has a pretty ugly face there. <laughs> look at his little teeth. But this particular Jim Shore is called Moxie and Menace. It is part of the Good and Evil series. You'll see quite a few of them out there. I think I have one more. I have a um, um, Sleeping Beauty and Maleficent. There's a Snow White and Evil Queen. There's Alice and the uh, Queen of Hearts. There's quite a few. Peter Pan and Captain Hook. A grail. <laughs> But those are the two gym shores that I own from the Hercules collection. So um, this is a Hercules I accidentally picked up by mistake. I thought I was getting the pen. So there, they had the VH series that they were they had that came out at Disney World. There were quite a few little plush characters that came, but they came in what it looks like. And I just love the boxes of these. The boxes themselves are just amazing. Look like the VHS tape cassettes that you had. And I had gotten this in Disney World, but look at this when you open it up. So he, he always falls out on me, but it's a little plushie of Hercules. <laughs> and the pleather of his little tunic, his little cape. Look at his little headband. He's just so cute, his little sandals. <laughs> But again, I thought that I got I got this from Shop Disney actually, and I thought at the time when I was ordering it, I was getting the pin, um, the pin and the VHS tape, but I actually got him, which I wasn't disappointed in. But very cute, very cute to um, when you're doing a collection and you're displaying it. Something like this inset just looks so nice, whether it's this way or on the side. So with this one, I got this one from. Um, Sarah's Disney Magic, and it is the miniature version. <laughs> now this is the one I'd set out to get when I got this one. So in giving that away, it's the same as the other one, just smaller. So in giving that away, this is what was in it. This is what I had wanted. This is the pens, and they're so darn cute. There is the VHS tape, and there is Hunkulies in his chibi form. Now these VHS ones are so very cute because they open up into the actual <laughs> little VHS tape cassette. Isn't that a cute pin set? I just thank her so much for sending that. I just think it's the cutest thing, just darling. But these are really nice if you have a collection to display together on a, um, on the on one of the shelves, which is what I have done with them. Um, and when I display those, I also display in my bags. So the very, the very first Hercules bag I got was not a mini backpack or crossbody, but it's so cute. <laughs> and I will wear this in the parks. I'm uh, if I ever wear um, one of my Hercules bags, I plan on wearing this with it just because I think these little fanny packs. Look at that. It's a lot like the two, the uh, Jim Shore here. It's them as babies. It's round. And then you have, as a zipper pull on that outside pocket, you have the lightning bolt. Very cute. It just zips open. This is a great pocket to wear. So when they wear the fanny packs, you wear them across like this nowadays. So it's easy to get to. Having a cell phone, this pocket is perfect to have put a cell phone in. So that's a perfect idea with it. And then it does have that rounded zipper. And if you can tell that is in gold hardware, nothing special about the zipper pull. But when you open this up, 
your Disney lounge flight tag is right in there. The lining is the little clouds with the lightning bolts. Isn't that cute? And this, this bag is just a perfect size. It's a perfect size to you can keep the things you want to close to you, like a cell phone in this bigger pocket is where you can then place um, your, like if you have a little sleeve wallet in there and then still have plenty of room for any other great needs you need to get a hold of really quickly. You do have that back strap, which is in that baby blue with a little clip buckle right there. The back is a plain baby blue. But isn't that adorable? Now, to go with this bag, I said I would wear this this way and then wear a mini backpack on my back. The mini backpack I would wear with this is this one. And it is a cosplay and it is so darling cute. You ready? It's Pegasus. <laughs> Now, this was a box lunch bag. At least that's where I got it. I believe it was a box lunch exclusive. Now, if you can tell, that cosplay is so perfect. His little uh, mane comes up the top in that baby blue along with his ears. And then you move into his face where his eyes are embroidered along with his little mouth and tongue. That is embroidery. Then the rest of this is an applique along with his hooves. His little hooves are right there. Look how cute. And then you have that Disney lounge fly tag, right there, plaque. But his little wings sprouting off are just so darling cute. You move to that side, you have a out, um, outside side pocket. Also on this side now, look at this. This is where the color starts popping in the most. It's in this zipper with that silver hardware. That zipper just makes that top of that bag pop along with that top loop handle being the same color and your padded back strap with the extender and the tab being that same blue. The whole bag is white, gray, black, and blue. Your bottom is even piped in that baby blue. The bottom is white, so I'd have to be really careful with this bag. You move to the back. There is none of that magic in the back of it. But it is such a cute bag. I mean, I think this is probably one of the cutest Hercules bags that is out. But then again, I am a cosplay person. I have another bag coming. <laughs> I'll explain that a little bit. So then again, on the inside, so on the inside of this bag, you do have that zipper pocket in the back. And then look at that little lining. Look at that little lining. It is the clouds. Just a very clean looking bag with that baby blue and the white. But I'll leave that, it's Pegasus and it is a beautiful cosplay. I was very lucky. I thought that I had missed him. I, um, I was jelly of Tim um, on the Game Boys because he had gotten him and taken him into the park. I think it was a birthday he took him in for, but isn't he, he's just so cute. He looked cute on Tim, so I had to get him. <laughs> and I think I did get him on sale. He came in a bag, so I kind of had to um, get his little wings spread back out, but he's doing perfect now, so very cute. Okay, so put my last lounge fly set, uh, um, bag is a set. So of course, when you think of Hercules and you think of um, Mayara also being the pretty girl, but these women, <laughs> And you know who I'm talking about, the muses. Now I do have the matching wallet to this one. I could not pass it up because I love the colors in this bag. Not only do I love the colors, but I love the characters. They are all each individually gorgeous, the muses. I'm gonna show you them first, but look at all this color. I mean the purples, and then you mix in the creams and the browns and the blacks, just so beautiful. You move down to where they're standing on this cloud, and this cloud, of course, has little glints of magic in those clouds. Isn't that pretty? And then you have the Disney Lounge Fly plaque. 
as you move to the side, look at that side pocket. Those clouds continue with the light purple and then you have the deep purple trim. The zipper is nothing, um, nothing to write home about, but it is that gold. We're gonna move to that other pocket. Same thing, the clouds move over the trim and then there's your gold hardware. Now, this cloud is a front pocket. This is a deep enough pocket to where you, well, I don't know that you could put a cell phone, full size cell phone in there, but there are some little things that you could put in there. Um, I put the band-aids um, for the parks, I put band-aids and maybe some um, snacks in there, but nice to have that front pocket. So you see the top of that is that light lavender. Most of that bag, the body of it, including the back is that light lavender. The piping along the bottom is that deeper purple. You move to the loop, top loop handle being that light lavender, your back strap padded and extender and looper, all that same light lavender. I love the way this color all flows. Usually I like it to be broken up, but on this bag, because this is what you wanna see, that is gorgeous. So that light lavender kind of contrasts it really well. Then, is there magic on the back? Indeed there is. <laughs> and that great say saying of zero to hero. Just a beautiful bag. And then the matching wallet. <laughs> Again, just like the front of the bag, you have the muses on there. You don't have the sparkles of the clouds like you do on the bag but you turn it around and there you have that Disney Lounge fly plaque. You, this is a full zip. The wallets that I love most are the full zip wallets. Just because I don't want anything opening up, I get my bag pretty packed sometimes, so I love that full zip. I love this size because it fits in many backpacks really well. As you open this up, take that phone out, you see the all, again, not anything to write home about. I think they could have done the contrasting purples on this, but this is pretty. And then that lining. This same lining that is inside this is what's inside the bag, and that's the little medallion. But just one gorgeous set. If you love purple, <laughs> this is it. So the last and final thing I have to show you regarding Hercules is the pin collection. Now, I didn't start um, collecting the Hercules until later. I've been, probably been collecting for maybe a year of the Hercules, but I think I'm pretty much done with my collection because I filled up the board. Um, every anniversary for these movies is when they seem to come out with the best pen. So I had just hit it right, had been watching Disney Pensomniac, had been watching um, Castles, Capes, and Clones, Lauren, and had been watching Meglet is a Geek. And all three of them had an amazing Hercules collection. And so then I had to start collecting it. This is my pen collection, and this is my board. So it's not, again, it's not big, it's very small. And for now, I'm kind of completed on it. There are a few, a few series I wish I had gotten like the urns. I didn't get all of these, the gods. So I'm gonna turn the camera around to show you all these pins, he's falling off. I'm gonna turn the camera around to show you all these pins in detail, all right? So here is that Hercules pen collection. So as you can tell, we'll go on this bottom first. These are the, um, this was a mystery box series. I did not get in on that series as I was kind of late to the game. So a lot of these I um, either traded with or tried to get off eBay, but these are the Greek gods. The nice thing about these pens is, I've showed these before, is that of course you have, there's the god but then when you turn them over, they tell you which one it is. As you can see, that is Aries. But such cool pins. If you love mythology, this would be great pins to collect. Again, I have all of them except for um, Zeus and Hades. Then I have a couple of um, big, big, um, big fig pin. And I love these because I did get um, Pegasus and Baby Herc. They do have stands behind them, so they're kind of hard to hang on the board. He's, um, of course, has his medallion and his little thunderbolt. 
and little Pegasus' little bug eyes is just the cutest. <laughs> now, moving on to this, a Disneyland Paris pen. And this one and this one were given to me by Melissa from Pixie Pens and Peaches. Aren't they just adorable? Disney Paris just does some amazing job with pens. I absolutely love them. This was another box set, The Muses. It is not a set that I have completed. I only have four of the six pens and only four, I believe only four of the Muses. So I have the two here and I do not know the Muses names by heart. And then I have two that are right here and they are just adorable. The whole set is really pretty. I think there's one more muse, so I've saved a space for her if I ever get her, and then there's a gold Hercules that came with them. Now this pen and this pen are pink Alamode exclusives. I love that one right there. And then this one, of course, is depicts um, Hercules and Pegasus in such a wonderful mood. This up here was another mystery box set. I did complete this set and it's Hercules, Megara. And then if you zoom, if I zoom in on this fountain right here, it does depict Pain and Panic as little birds in the fountain. <laughs> it's such a cute idea for one of the pins. And then you have um, Pain, Oh, where did, oh and there, there we go. Panic is right here and then pain and then you have Hercules right there in the center. Now this is the medallion of Hercules and this was a gift given to me by yours truly darling. Now, when you turn this, this pen is very different. I've never seen another pen like this because you do have his emblem with the cloud and the lightning bolt. But when you turn this pen around, Again, it's the pen, but it has another side of it, which is Hercules as a coin. This is the back of the pen, but yet has a little bit more substance to this it. This right here was a box lunch pen. This was a gorgeous pen of Megara and Herc. Um, this is a rose gold backing pen, which I love. This is the supporting cast pen. Now I love these pens. If you want to see a full set of supporting cast pens, you need to go to Creatively Sandra. She has every, I believe she has every supporting cast pen that is out at this time. You have, this is one of the lounge flies. I believe this is for um, the anniversary. And it's the heart with Magara and Herc. And then you have <laughs> Pain and Panic as little birds and they move up and down on this. It is a movable pin. Then I have the little, this is one of a blind box with Megara's dress. This was another Disneyland Paris pen given to me by Melissa. Those three pens were just gorgeous to get. Love them. And then this is the fig pen of Hercules. This was a pen I received. Um, I just loved this. I think this is just the cutest, cutest um, pen. It's got the glitter in it. It has a little um, hidden Mickey right here. And it is the discus pen. I believe this was a, um, a mystery box series of sports possibly. Then you do have a little pen of Zeus wow. with a lot of these pens down here below. Um, came from Disney Crazy Family, um, Melissa, and I believe quite a few. I believe um, Up With The Sun Juan also collects these. He has the full set as well as Megalit is a geek. This was another mystery pen, books um, with the characters where they had books with them. A Megara pen. I believe this one and this one came out of a movie Insiders. It was a free set, a free pen set. Both that headshot of Megara and Hercules. This. All right. This kind of started it all. So I was watching Disney Pensomniac and Lauren had gifted this pen to Trevor at Disney Pensomniac. And it is a isn't that pretty? A movable pen with the muses. It's a pretty good size pen as well. Just so pretty. All right, then we're gonna move over to this fig pen of Hades. 
And then this was one I got off eBay. I was really enthralled with this pen. This was my first Magic Windows pen. Now, what I love about it is Pegasus is kind of hidden down here. He's kind of a somber detail in this pen. You have to kind of look at him to see him. And then, of course, Hercules has all that shine and I love in the magic windows I love the way they do the top of those windows with some kind of design this was a shop Disney pen I think I got that off shop Disney for like four dollars then this is a um, blind box series that's not too old it's a stained glass villain series so I pulled I got two of him and pulled him out and put him in with this set and then this was a three pin set of um, Pain and Panic with Hades. And that was a lounge fly set as well. So that is my small Hercules collection. And again, there's that Jim Shore. Oh, she's so pretty. He's meek. He looks so mean. <laughs> and there's baby Herc and Pegasus. And then of course we have the little Funko Pops. <laughs> Just cute. So that is my small Hercules collection. Um, it's small, but I love it. Um, I just love, I love the movie Hercules. Um, I had my oldest daughter when she was six years old, did a church um, talent show and she got up and sang and danced and had the Megara outfit on. <laughs> so it's always been uh, one of my favorites because it had such a great memory to go with it. Um, but I also just love the lesson that it has. Um, and I love the music. I love um, all the characters learn in it. There's not one character that I don't lo love, including the three witches. So um, just a really good movie. And um, I hope you enjoyed this collaboration. I want to thank the Malik Adventures for um, letting me participate in this collab. I really enjoy your collabs. They're fun. Um, just fun to see what everyone has. And you never know what movie is going to come up next that they're going to choose that you do your next collab on. So I'm really excited to have been participated in this. And make sure, I want once again, that you're checking out all the participating channels below. Go check out the Melic Adventures. Make sure you like and subscribe their video as well and continue to follow them because they have some great collabs and some great videos that come out. So um, make sure to watch everybody. And I just thank you so much for being here and letting me share this once again. <laughs> thank you for being here. I hope you're enjoying your day and that it's a good one and, and saying goodbye like they say in the parks. Have a magical day, okay? Thanks so much. Bye now.